Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to show you guys what Lowe's sent me and tell you a little bit about a couple of tricks I have for upgrading tools this time of year, especially if you're a contractor. Now, if you're a homeowner and you're into this kind of thing as well and you like to run some new tools, maybe be able to leverage your way into free batteries, free tools, all kinds of things. I want to share a couple things that I do that may help you with that and it works especially well this time of year. So anyway, first of all, let's pop this open and see what they sent me. Since this says Lowe's Provember on it, I have a pretty good feeling that this is some of the items that I've been seeing on the shelf at Lowe's this month with this, with this particular labeling on them. They do a lot of uh, sales this time of year. Okay, yeah, and they actually put a card in here with what all their sales they have right now are. They have bonus points with the MVP program, all that kind of stuff. First of all, not being paid to make this video here at all. The only thing is, I am an ambassador for Lowe's, so they send me something every so often, and the items are free. I don't even know what's in here yet, though, so let's check it out. But I do want to make today's video more about telling you guys how I upgrade my power tools this time of year, especially if you use some of the big brands. Okay, a box of reciprocating saw blades, and these are the DeWalt's. I will say my favorites, though, are Linux. If you're if you really want a quality blade, the Linux, the Linux Curves, all of those, at Lo they're at Lowe's as well. They are absolutely fantastic. Those will work out fine, though. That's a nice... Nice set of them. You, you go through so many of those in this work. So it looks like this is an all DeWalt box here. We've got a DeWalt oscillator in here with a couple of two amp hour batteries. It's the whole kit there that they sent. I'm going to go ahead and put it back here so it doesn't affect the camera. And then another tool kit in the bottom looks like an impact and a couple of batteries there as well. So that is pretty much what came in that box. Now I actually was at Lowe's several times this month because when they start running these sales this time of year, like that one, I, I believe these are actually on some of their sales they're doing right now. But one of the big ones I grabbed was this set here, and this is just the box. I've already got the tools on the truck. This came with an 8 amp hour, a 2 amp hour, the nicer power detect drill, and the 3 speed impact in there. So if you're into DeWalt, you kind of know Power Detect is pretty well their good 20 volt tools. That's kind of their top end on that stuff. So for me, if you watch these deals, they have one going right now where you can get two 5 amp hour batteries for $199 and then you can add a free tool with that. Whether it's, you know, a grinder, a circular saw, all that kind of stuff, you can add the free tool. Well, the trick to something like that is you can go ahead and sell, say the, the circular saws and stuff that are up there, they very easily sell in my area on Facebook Marketplace or whatever for around the $100, $125 range as a brand new tool in the box. And that's without a battery, okay? So if you're looking at buying batteries like that, you can end up getting yourself into a set of five amp hour batteries for like 50 bucks a piece, which is obviously half price on, on what they're going for, even as a set. So <clears throat> that kind of deal, as well as when you do something like this one here, this is a deal where you get the two power detect tools, the eight amp hour, the two amp hour charger, and it's a rapid charger, which is my favorite. But this also came with a free power detect tool, and I've been wanting the grinder for quite a while, so I got that. The grinder is like $249 for the bare tool, so by the time, I think the whole set is like $379, you get all of this in this box, plus the grinder. Plus, but you could get another 8 amp hour battery, there's a whole bunch of options, but I needed the grinder. So, where that's important is I have the old style D-handle 20 volt grinder, and it goes through batteries like no other. If you've got one, you know what I'm talking about. Really, any grinder does with batteries, but the Power Detect is supposed to be considerably better. So I wanted to do the upgrade. Well, by doing this set for $379 with all of that, I take the drill and the impact out of this, and I sell those. 
Since it's a power detect hammer drill, I can usually get $125 to $150 for it. $125 easily all day long. So say $125 there, I can usually get $100 for the brand new impact. And don't even use them. I keep them right in the plastic and sell them. I've already got the ones I want, the little stubby impact, the M12s. That's what I like. So sell that's $225 back out of just those two drills. Then I can go and grab my old grinder, which is still working fine, my older 20 volt grinder, and I can usually get around 80 bucks for that, say. So I'm getting over $300 back. I get a new power detect grinder, an 8 amp hour, a 2 amp hour, and a rapid charger, and it literally costs me like 80 bucks for all of that. So you can kind of see if you if you part some of these kits out and really know what your stuff sells for, you can work your way into having brand new tools every two or three years. I'm not selling junk. They're just, they've been used a couple of years. And as a contractor, I don't want stuff going down. I, that's why I really don't have DeWalt batteries that have given up on me. Once they're about two, three years old, I'll pair them with one of my old tools and I'll sell it on Marketplace, usually get somewhere around 80% of my money back completely, and I will grab the new deal, whatever the deal is, where the, like the 199 for two fives and a tool, something. They have deals going all year long. They just get exceptionally well this time of year. So if you're looking for that kind of thing, go in Lowe's, keep an eye on that, grab their ad, whatever, and get a feel for what things are selling for on Marketplace, and you can keep yourself in brand new tools. I'm sure this correlates to Milwaukee and others. The one thing is, if you if you stray too far away from those big brands, people don't really recognize it and they don't sell as fast. So if you're trying to sell something, you know, like a Ryobi or a Craftsman or something like that secondhand, they don't seem to move like the big names, DeWalt, DeWalt, Milwaukee, and that sort of thing. So just be aware of that. If you're running one of the big brands, this kind of a technique can work extremely well. And some of the other brands may work better in larger cities. I'm just in a town of like 50,000 people, and I'm able to do that here very efficiently. So I rarely takes me more than three, four days of having a tool on Marketplace, and it's sold already. And a lot of times I've already bought the new one that I want. That way I can just have the other one wiped down, cleaned up, and ready to go. So same thing with the little black chargers. Once you've collected a few of these rapid chargers, you really don't even use the little black battery chargers anymore. Or you use a big four port like I have under my table saw over here. So throw in a little black charger, throw in one of the little two amp hour batteries that we don't really run as professionals that much. When you get these like two extra little batteries or whatever in a kit like this, you can throw one with a tool, throw a little black charger with it and the tool and you can get, you know, you can get almost all of your money back from it that you spent, go ahead and upgrade to a new tool and move on. And the old tool is still fine. If it's a homeowner buying it, they're going to get many more years out of it. So it really you're helping everybody out a little bit, but you can run tools that you don't have to worry about as much. So anyway, I hope all that rambling made a little bit of sense and maybe can help you make some good decisions through these holidays. I'm going to try to post some more videos on some of the things I do like that, maybe even some shorts on this and show exactly like on a kit exactly how I broke it down and sold it and how that worked out for me on, on a few of them because I've had incredibly good luck with this for several years. So I, I kind of have fun doing it now. Thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe down there. Run into Lowe's and see what kind of deals they got going right now. And we'll see you on the next one.